Hello there. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but um, every time this Drobo problem has occurred, I've actually had to get my Drobo working again because I've had to do some work, so I haven't had time to make a video about it. But now it's Boxing Day, there's nothing to do, so and the problem has happened again, so I'm going to show you how to fix it. Um, this is when your Drobo, one of the volumes, or maybe multiple of the volumes of your Drobo, just disappear and will not mount in Mac OS X. Uh, so I've got my Drobo split up into two volumes. One is Time Machine, using the built-in features of uh, Drobo Dashboard um, to create that. And the other volume, which is the bigger volume, is all my media and, and other bits and bobs that I really want to keep, I don't want to lose. And for some reason, well I say some reason, what happened was the machine crashed, completely locked up, and I had to restart my iMac, um, after which point Drobo would not appear. Um, so let's have a look here. Let's first port of call would obviously be, I think for most people, the Drobo dashboard. So we'll go in there. That's bound to be able to fix the problem, right? Um, well, the trouble is, Drobo dashboard doesn't see any problem. It thinks everything is just great, um, which it isn't. So let's have a look what we can do about this. Our next port of call would probably be disk utility. Dom de dom de dom. Aha! There's my strange missing Drobo volume, and I want that to be actually mounted on the system. But the trouble is, when you click on mount, it won't do it. So the next thing you do is go to first aid, and it will do the built in Mac OS X repair. Uh, routines on the drive and it'll either fail completely and say mm, I can't do anything about this or it will actually go through and complete and say everything's great again and you try and mount the disk afterwards and it just won't do it so I've restarted the Drobo a couple of times I've restarted the machine at the same uh, time as that so everything's sort of fresh and ready to go and it still won't mount um, so what I'm going to do is use my surefire trick. Before you run out and buy yourself some expensive disk repair utility or goodness knows what else, um, save yourself the money and try this first. I mean, you can't do anything. You, you can't make it worse because it won't mount. Um, but actually, when my lights are on, I know the data is still on there, at least as far as the driver is concerned, the data is still on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Terminal and I am going to put in this command and I'll uh, try and remember <laughs> to put it in the uh, description so if you want to cut and paste it you can. The only bit missing at the end we've got to add in is what the Drobo's device name is and the way we find that is that we look in Disk Utility and down here we highlight, don't highlight this to highlight the actual drive that won't mount. So it is device disk for S2. So we must type that in correctly. Disk for S2. There we are. I hit return. It's going to ask me for my system password, which I'm just going to put in. And it's going to do that. You should get a message saying turned off the journaling bit for dev disk. Um, I'm going to just restart Disk Utility. I don't know if I have to, really, but just to be on the safe side so it gets fresh information. Right, now I'm going to highlight my Drobo again. I'm going to click First Aid. I know I said I did First Aid before, and it didn't work, but that's just... Uh, it didn't work, but I think this time it probably will. Dum-de-dum-de-dum, so we just wait. It's going to go through checking all the various things. I should point out that the uh, the Drobo drive, or the volume that wasn't working, was HFS uh, plus uh, with journaling turned on, which I think is the default way that uh, Drobo Dashboard sets up any such drives. So we just dom de dom de dom wait for it to complete, and before you get bored and stop watching the video, there is one more step we have to do afterwards, so um, I should really cut all this out, but eh, I haven't got the time. Unless it takes really a long time, but hopefully it's not going to do that. Oh, there we go. Alright, update boots. Well, duh, 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 duh. Any second now, it's going to say done. 
Okay, uh, and then what we can do is highlight the drive again, and up here on the menu bar, we can now enable journaling again. That's what we switched off with our, our command. Da, 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 da. I hear Drobo whirring away, but the question is, what's going to happen when I try and mount it now? I would click on mount. There it is. It's back. It lives. And there's all my stuff. Yay! I live to work another day. So, there you go. Um, hopefully that's solved someone's problem, but enjoy.